I picked a random one called Mario Combat Evolved by Bup0809. Who are you? How did you get onto my ship? I would call security, but anyone who can hold a gun is down fighting on the ring, so I can't do much about you. If you want to make yourself useful, you could help them out down there. The Master Chief is missing, and so far we've had no luck finding him. There should be one last drop pod in the bay that will take you to the surface. Good luck down there. Alright, I'm starting the timer. That's the official start time in the speedrun. It's after you read that text. Out loud. I'm in. I'm in the pod bay. Hello and welcome to my Mario 64 X Halo CE crossover hack. This is my first hack, so I apologize in advance for any jank you may encounter. This is a short and easy hack with three stars and two levels. I hope you enjoy. Dude, you love to know how many stars are in the hack. Real tree? Real tree. <laughs> Dude, it's not a hairstyle. This is just what my hair looks like whenever I get out of the shower. I'm sure over the stream you'll literally see it return to form. Dude, that guy's a menace. The time lapse in the highlights of my hair drying would be kind of cool. I'm down with that. Ooh. Dude, normally I don't like this camera when Rum hacks do this. But I've never had a cinematic BLJ cam before. Attention, this is a captain speaking. All available personnel, please report to the bridge for a new assignment. Dude, I did not expect to be warped out of that stage. Am I being a good Mr. Chief? Yo, what up? It's you again. I assume you didn't find anything useful. That's okay because we finally have information on the chief's location. A signal was located from the inside of a forerunner structure of unknown purpose. The bad news is that it's guarded by a hunter. It might be a lot to ask, but if you could get rid of that thing, it would make searching that structure a hell of a lot easier. If you're up to it, there's a pelican prepped to go in the hangar. If you can find the chief, we might just be able to win this war. I'm in. Mr. Chief, you mind telling me why you're Super Mario? Sir. Bing bing wahoo. Yo, what up? <laughs> Dude, that's not gonna take me out of here, am I? Or is it? Right, I'm just gonna assume it takes me to the ship and then I come back anyway. Okay, I give up. But only because I know that I can do it. <laughs> and it would have been too nuts. Prove it. Alright, I'm going back. If I die, which I won't, but if I do, I'll do it. I'm way too immersed, you know? I gotta save Mr. Chief. Oh, I love this song. I think the song's kinda quiet, but I imagine it's about to get loud, as the song naturally does. It's very soft, yeah, but I, I think it's about to pick up. Dude, nice DVDs. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot people in chat don't know what DVDs are. <laughs> That's crazy. This is actually sick. Yo, thanks, Jack. Oh, shit. Master Chief, do you mind telling me why you were truck? I wanted to scroll up to see if I made a typo, and the, my chat started doing this shit. Very haunted. Like, how did this guy do this? I get it, dude. You finally caught a stream. Like, <laughs> give me my family back. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing Mario... Blade Chronicles 64 next by Lawnmower Man. Ooh, that was a clean open. Good luck. Now I don't have to play Xenoblade. I was actually telling Mark that Xenoblade looked fun, but I probably don't have to play it anymore. Mario, you finally decided to show up, huh? It's complete chaos. The fate of our world is at hand, I think. You've seen it in the Mushroom Kingdom, right? Bowser and his magic of servants created a rift in space-time. Elements of our world are slowly being sucked into this one. Eventually, the entire Mushroom Kingdom will be merged with this world. I'm pretty sure this is the world that Shulk is from, at least. That's what the locals say. Maybe you could find a way to fix Bowser's mess and get us home. Damn, this area looks massive. You'll have to see a big open area. Mario's health is looking cool. Kinda wanna take some damage. Xenoblade looked like a fun, I would play it in bed game. Yo, what up, Toad? Mario, remember me? I'm that Toad who stood outside of Hazy Maze Cave. Dude, he's the 16 star Toad. <laughs> well, these legs weren't exactly made for climbing trees. What a hero, dude. <laughs> Let that be a warning to all Goombas who see me doing triple jumps next to slopes. Dude, there's so much area. There's a thing below me and a thing over there. A red coin. There might be a shell. I might I might be dumb to come over here right now. I imagine there's a shell. Oh, this is a course though. I don't know if there's a hundred coins. I'm not sure what to expect. Xenoblade is basically running simulator. 
Is that true? Are there any Xenoblade fans offended by hearing that sentence right now? Or you're like, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's kinda true. Yeah, imagine doing this without the show. That's that's almost the journey I went on. Dude, no. Are you opening a cannon for me? Mario, could you tell me what's going on? When I came through the rift, I ended up on this island. I would totally swim to shore and find out myself, but I don't want to get my shoes wet. That's fair, to be honest. Wait, shoes? Really? Hmm. That just changed my day, I think. Bye, coins. Be careful, there's a level 70 around here. That's why I have the shell. I'm not going to take any fights. Attention! Climbing on the anti-air battery is prohibited. Since the surface is very slippery, one false step could result in mild malfunction. Dude, he was right. <laughs> Yo, what is this dude? This is a Colony 9 anti-air battery. We mainly use it to clear falling debris. <laughs> this isn't a pawn, but did you know? Did you know the truth about his face? In this episode of Boundary Break, we show you the truth behind the Nippon's face. Two coins. <laughs> I just seen that going a little bit better. I'm digging this hack. I wish I had a better Xenoblade frame of reference, but I'm having fun. It's super accurate. That's hype. I'm starting to see the 100 coin star, if there is one, is going to spawn in a really bad uh, spot, probably. I'm going to have no shell and be swimming back for the rest of my life. Okay, this isn't so bad. Last red over there. Dude, I don't know anything about Xenoblade. Is there some sort of shell-like thing that you experience? <laughs> the world is a turtle. Oh, okay. Let's, um, let's recruit that guy for, for something later. <laughs> the guy who believes in the turtle theory. <laughs> is there like an, an item that make you go fast in that game? No? That's sad. This might have ruined my day a bit. No, you're slow as fuck. Why? Grampy Pawn spent his life looking for great treasure at Colony 9. He must have been very bad at it. Meh. His final clue was end near where you began. Well, that's kind of vague. I'm over Grampy Pawn. No. Did I just see a wiggly dude? It's, don't, don't kill me. Okay. When I saw these, that made me think for sure I'm getting owned in a second. If there's safe spots, everything's quicksand. Was that the best you could do. You may have beat me once before, but in this world, I'm a level 110 super must. Dude, whoever in chat warned me about some level 70 had no idea that this was here. Are you even trying, Pasta Breath? I don't feel a thing. I'm sorry to say this, Mario, but you rather bore me. Time to use my Talon Art Ass Blast attack. That's a real thing. How can this be? I surely had the upper hand. I understand now. Even if I had all the power in the world, there was no match for your plot armor. No matter how strong you get, I was never gonna be able to withstand you jumping on my head three times. With this many power stars, he should be able to face off against Bowser. That's kinda hype. Is Bowser in Xenoblade as well? Dude, that- the, the shadow beneath the box was fucking me up. I thought it was on the ground. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna run up to it and punch it. So sad that Lawnmower Man will lose his title once lawns can mow themselves in the future. Yeah, I didn't want to bring up that touchy subject, Zimbo, but that's causing a lot of stress in their life. Cool sword or clown to wield at the circus. Idiot. I just got sassed by a guy who sits there and uh, supposedly is wearing shoes. It is kind of a clown sword, I admit. Me see that you hold the Monado on your back, yes? Oh, dude. I didn't know that that's what that was. Shulk took the Monado to fight the monsters on the front lines. This must be your Monado. If you wish to fight the spiky, smelly monster friend, you'd power up his Monado. I think I was meant to read all this stuff before I collected all the stars. Friend should stand on this platform and look towards Sky when friend is ready to fight. True. It- They're making it sound like there are more than five stars. Did I miss something? Treasure of the Lakeside Cave. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't have like 80 coins or something. I did not come up a case of stairs, did I? Case upstairs. A staircase. Is a case upstairs? Does that make sense? Can you say that? Does the English language allow you to say that? A six pack upstairs. Dude, there was a blue coin switch. I've never collected 100 coins and missed one of these before. You saw a sign? Wait, no way. Am I actually blind, dude? Like, I never see stuff like that. How do I? I don't see things. This just in. Local player hates making progress. Would rather explore dumb shit that means nothing for 12 hours. Oh, I'm feeling a bit called out here. We're at eight. 
Is it local player who experiences that? Or local ROM hack guy who makes me break shell for nothing and now I walk back and waste even more time? <laughs> I don't technically need to find this cave, but I do technically want to. Okay, I found it. Attention, keep away from the chests. According to research conducted by the Colony 9 Militia, opening these chests in the wrong order will result in instant death. If any citizens of Colony 9 have information regarding these chests or their history, please contact a local officer. There's only three of them. 50-50 left? I should have known. Dude, instant death is no fucking joke, apparently. What did I expect? I don't know, I've never played Xenoblade. Does your game just shut off whenever you die? I wanna change a bunch of my emotes. Um, I can't change them. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't really change my emotes unless I get approved for partner because on the, on the page it says I have 30 out of five emotes or something like that. Or 30 out of eight or something. Is there just another chest somewhere? You fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really good setup. 50-50? It's gotta be this one. God, dude, this... Aw, oh, man. Like, even my head. The five chess watch. That's... Why do I think a star would be there? This is like that time in Xenoblade where they have to open chests in the right order or they'd all die. The clifftop meadow? Oh, wow, I actually missed a whole other star somewhere. I'm talking to you, Toad. Hi, I'm a Toad. I heard from the Nippon that the Monado grants the user certain abilities. For you, Mario, I believe it nullifies damage taken from falling a great height. Do you think I could borrow it to get down from here? <laughs> Dude, I did not expect that to happen. Congratulations on collecting every power star. The power of the wing cap is now yours. Dude, that's actually such a cool condition. I thought I'd keep my speed and then ground pound in the right spot. All right, I'm ready. Dude, this is crazy looking. Is this like Xenoblade? Mario, you always show up at the worst times. Can't you see I'm busy here? Making a new world from scratch is a lot harder than it sounds. Once I fry you in that glowing toy, I'll make a world for me and the princess. Oh, and you're not invited. Lol, plus ratio, plus XD. That's crazy. The fact glitched. This is literally the final boss, but it said no spoilers. And why would Bowser be in that game? Something you're saying just isn't quite adding up. L plus grab your tail, L plus bun you around, plus ratio. I knew I shouldn't have brought my favorite blue spiky bombs with me. I was told that something in this world would have allowed me to make a universe of my desires. Thanks to you, I never found out what that was. Now that I'm losing my power, our two worlds are slowly returning to normal. But you can't get rid of me that easily. See you next Tuesday. For the annual 70 star race. <laughs> this is a fun hang. I liked it. Now I don't have to play uh, Xenoblade. Thank you so much for playing my game. Uh, Mario and the Guilty Gear by Purple Grape. Yo, what up? You wake up in your room. A pink bomb mom. Let's go. A pink bomb mom. That's right, Case. A pink bomb mom stands at the foot of your bed. You talk to him and he says, Welcome to my first ROM hack. A chill goes down your spine. You stare at the bomb and you say, What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Why are you in my room? I imagine that simple probably just said something like, I hate it when Mario has dialogue. I, I said that yesterday or earlier today. I think that was yesterday. We see the sign coming. Dude, what the fuck? Imagine no one was going to tell me the text looked like that. I'm vibing. This song makes me feel like I just won something. Good luck, Mario, but if you don't come back, can I have your RuneScape account? Absolutely not, dude. Log me in and throw the fucking laptop in the grave with me. When it's my time to go, I'm taking my account with me. You sense there are two stars here. That's hella hype info. I'm gonna say it right now. I hate the Shifting Sandland song. What? Is this what you want from me? You think I'm just a guy who's gonna BLJ every time he sees a ramp? Am I dumb? The dumb, 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 stupid? Or is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh, I see. That makes sense. How did you get here, Mario? Wow! Watch, that's what it'll say. Great job. <laughs> Damn it. Cross over the canyon. Okay. You can't just pass a pun like that and call it a day. That was a vesting joke. I'll be real. Whatever plugin I'm currently using is a lagging one. Wait, did that area have two stars? I gotta go to that pipe. Bring me back. I can feel it. He gives off power like you wouldn't believe. 
It makes me so mad that I want to... Wow. Some people love this joke right now. <laughs> it's like eight people who just really loved that joke, I'm so sure. Oh. Is this a secret underground Koopa society? No way you want me to kill 20 of these guys. That's not what the lore was meant to be. I was supposed to have a nice friendly race and uncover a society that felt like they were shamed for years, not commit genocide. <laughs> what if there's not 20 of these dudes? And I'm doing this out of cruelty instead of reason. That would be treason. Oh, that's random as fuck, dude. I'm in. That is, I, oh, okay. <laughs> Real ending, killed them all. Rover, are you here? No reason. I'm not asking for any reason. Since if there's Joe one star to here. Joe? Oh, oh shit. Just kidding, unless. Okay, I didn't get it. Got it. Unless. If. I, sorry. I, you fall here, you won't die, so take a moment, reflect, maybe take in the skybox, then exit course. <laughs> okay. Well, you could see my excitement was very real. You now belong to the canyon. Dude, this looks like a Digimon World 3 skybox. I'm also getting dizzy looking at this. <laughs> I really don't want to die in this area, so I'm trying extra super special hard right now. I Okay, don't do that. I saw myself dying immediately after saying that. Yeah, this is Guilty Gear. You're learning so much about Guilty Gear. Me as well. No fucking way, you're giving me a quiz, dude. I'm in. Yo, what up? Welcome to the crossover quiz. Answer right and move on. Answer wrong and there will be no consequences. You will be banned. Does anyone want to put their Twitch account on the line? Like, a real banned user? Guilty Gear 2 Overture. <laughs> Dude, yeah, bread. I'll ban you if I get it wrong. Guilty Gear 2 Overture is the blank main series game. I don't know. Do you think it's the second game? Because it's Guilty Gear 2? Hmm. Well, I have to pick second, dude. Otherwise, it's uh, a different answer. Oh, nice. Well done! Oh, wait, I get the banned bread, right? Hell yeah. Bread accountant. Permanent ban for life. Everyone say bye. Yeah, third actually makes sense, because it wouldn't be two, it would be the one after two. What? Fire Emblem characters eats unpeeled oranges. That's crazy that Roy's not a choice. He's such an orange eater, dude. I literally only know who Marth is, and he never mentions oranges in Melee. He just goes, he doesn't say anything about oranges. I'm picking Marth. Mmm, yummy orange. Alright, now for a really hard-hitting question. Is the GeForce video game a sequel? <laughs> Dude, no way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is so good. Uh, dude, I hope he's here. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm scouring chat seeing if he's around. Fuck. How could I not know the answer to this? I'm going with the last one. Oh, final question. Question four. Hey, Simple, I actually decided to get Guilty Gear because you were getting juggled by a SM64 boss and you said you wouldn't know, dude. Fucking Guilty Gear players, they get you in the corner and then they start stacking you. <laughs> what? Needless to say, I was intrigued. So my questions to you is, do you play or watch Guilty Gear? What's your favorite game and who's your favorite character? I've never played a Guilty Gear game. I just said it because I watch sometimes Waterbird play or Vesting in the past. I hella don't know anything about it. But um, my favorite character is... I know this, hold on. I don't want to look at chat because it'll influence me. My favorite character is... uh, It's Potemkin, yes, thank you. My favorite character is Potemkin. Fuck you, Vesting. How many Mega Ten, Megami Tensei games have Jack Frost in them? The guy from the, the Christmas thing? No, no way. I can't believe it. What the heck? His text just literally randomly changed. It must be 34. Yo, what the fuck? His text, I swear to you, I looked away and it randomly changed. This one, I bet. Yes, I knew it. Congratulations. You finished the hack. Check the score screen for an Easter egg. Oh, nice. Okay, let's check the score. No fucking way. This is so sick. No fucking way. Can you believe this? Holy shit. <laughs> we can't see shit. Yeah, it's fair. There are HH Greg lyrics here, though. <laughs>